Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. The second attempt. My name is Saiken and I want to start this video by uh, just giving a bit of a realistic expectation so that you're not disappointed in case I will not be able to pull it off. Normally, if you go for an achievement, you'll go for one achievement only. But in this specific case, by going for Exquisite Timing on Legendary, it just so happened that due to the lack of research time, we're not only doing the exquisite timing achievement, which means finish the game in four and a half months, we're not only going to um, uh, basically challenge the last mission without um, eliminating a single chosen, so we're fighting all three of them in this very mission, we're not only going to go in, um, in a Who Needs Tigan run, which is use only ballistic weapons, we're on top of that also doing it with permanent dark events, mind you, four or five that we've racked up by now. We have no armor upgrades whatsoever, so not even um, really good items. We have no blue screen rounds ammunition, nothing. It's plain simple equipment that, uh, that you will see and a few bits and pieces of ammunition. The only thing uh, that we're having is uh, one mine shield and that's pretty much it. On top of it, many of our soldiers have fear of the Chosen because, uh, yeah, they sabotaged us. So, a long story short, this here is potentially a mission where I'm, no matter how good I'm playing, maybe ending up uh, with uh, the an inability to actually do the entire uh, mission. Uh, so we're trying to go as far as we can, and that's the new benchmark afterwards. With that being said, that's the disclaimer. There is a real chance of actually failing the final run. Let's get going. The idea is we want to use the least amount of um, the least amount of actual um, cooldowns and uh, consumables, specifically consumables, because we wouldn't get them back. Cooldowns is fine; you can we can theoretically use them. But specifically, the consumables should not be used. Secondly, we're going to try to use the avatar aggressively. And what I mean with that is um, the avatar has the unique situation or ability to regenerate his health, making it a perfect and uh, viable candidate for us when we want to go in. And thirdly, we're trying to... Just be a tiny bit more clever than the AI and trick them into positions where we can get overwatch traps on them. So it's going to be a slow mission. I want to play the cleanest XCOM that I can play and make smart decisions. Everyone's on overwatch. We got a bunch of mutants. Wait a second, this here looks explodable. Wait a second, homeboy. Maybe they have been tripping. Moving over here. <laughs> Look at that. Remote start would hit all four of them, causing 10 points of damage. That was a pretty solid hit. 40 points of damage and uh, some of them already burn in acid. Great. Not too shabby if you ask me. Unfortunately, we can't really get any hits in because they are retaliating any melee attack. Let's try to kill them. If he rounds missed, okay, fair enough. We do have a plan B, which is using the gateway. One down, very good. Moving up. All 
right, that was not a hit. I want to use any cooldowns uh, if unnecessary. Fifty fifty on this guy. Yep. Uh, the RNG is definitely not on our side, which means we're going to use the rift. Okay, fair enough. By the way, it's crazy that that doesn't even end the turn. Well, that per first pack was a little bit lucky. Just ran right next to an explosible item. Okay. We'll keep it there. Uh, we got four turns until we'll get back the cooldown. I would simply reload everyone for now, including Zirkim. And we're slowly but surely I am at your service. taking a look what else is out there. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, well, that is a nasty pack. Give me time to reload. All right, reloading. Everyone overwatches. We don't want to pull those beasts. All right, two more turns. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did we long watch? Uh, well, that's not good. Um, we certainly don't want to simply trigger them by long watch. If they are moving, that would trigger the pack. So instead, let's just overwatch and not trigger them. Don't want to do any mistakes here. Long watch means that Zirkim could have taken a shot, even though if um, he wouldn't be right next to them. I am on the move. Moving to Overwatch. Moving okay, to everyone Overwatch. just Covering keeps now. their nice little Overwatch here. We want to play... Wait a second, wait a second. He has the option to... Oh, I see. This is explodable. Okay, okay. Got you. Come get Very good. The silence, the calm before the storm, as they say. Yeah, I think we're going to take that. That's two dead chrysalids and pretty much a shredded eyeball. Let's go for it. There we go. Well, one thing will never change, and that is the enthusiasm uh, with which the chrysalis are charging into you. Ain't it cute? Ain't it cute? We're putting the avatar in the front position, and it's going to be a big, fat dimensional rift. It's 
some of them die immediately, which is good. And I don't want to be hit by the eyeball, not at all. So we are going to okay, nicely and respectfully move back. We do have an aid protocol, which I would like to use on the avatar, not only for the overwatch threat assessment, but also because he'll probably take some hits from the chrysalids. Let some overwatch to back it up. All right. Too bad we were missing. That gate were led to nowhere. Come on. Very nice. Perfect. One of those suckers down. Well, we've got hit. Nasty part about chrysalids is their poison. Luckily for us, you can only be poisoned once, at least to my knowledge. So we're only going to take one point of damage. And we're going to regenerate more than that. Why is there another nine points of damage back there? Oh no, fear of the chosen means the chosen must be there. Okay, and that means... Ooh. Well, good and bad at the same time. Good, because she is not going to be in the final room. Um, she's not going to annoy us. Bad, uh, primarily because I don't want to fight against an eyeball and her at the same time. You know she's here because she unfortunately got revealed. I think she's standing here though. It's one of the elders chosen. Heads up out there. It's the elders assassin and she's moving into the AO. Okay, good. First things first. Moving up, let's just get some more focus. There we go, that's the focus we we're talking about. That should trigger untouchable. Very nice. Blade Master untouchable. Okay, perfect. He is untouchable now, which is pretty good because both him and Hogbite essentially could make sure that they're not taking any more damage. Mind control would be 100% sure. Let's move over here. And let's take the mind control. The gatekeeper is a good target. 
all things considered we still need to kill it afterwards but I can use it as bait all right Perry she's here she's definitely here this is a graphical bug Might as well start hitting her. Can't yet use the remote start. Let's see. Hmm. Good question. So we can certainly take that shot. It'll ignore her armor. Not even close. There is no place you can hide from me. Problem is, she still can walk a mile. Her movement rate is absurd. Completely, completely absurd. She might be looking to use Harbor Wave if we're clustering up like that. Not sure, we don't have an A protocol at the moment. I think we could start to... Yeah, I think we could start to... Basically shred her. So, let's go with the sting. That also applies poison. So, on top of everything, she's now poisoned. And the crystal and poison sticks, unfortunately. Just learned that. Hopefully she goes for the eyeball. And hopefully we're not triggering those guys, because that would really, really, really suck. Have a wave. No one escapes the storm. Onto the eyeball. <laughs> okay. At one time you that was cute. Honorably. Now you scurry in the shadows like billions. Okay, let's start over here, shall we? We are opening the shell. And by moving to here, yes, please, that should destroy a bit of the wall not much but a bit okay and opening the shell and let's hit her with consume okay cool only problem is the gatekeeper also needs to die at some point which is why we don't want to let it consume too much
Good. Moving into full cover. And let's hit both of them. I definitely would like to shred her. There we go. Yes, we will hit our own unit, but that's partially the idea behind it. If we were to shoot through here, were to shoot through here, what would the logical path be? Position ourselves here and then sort of shoot through there. Can position ourselves in the open, but that would be Dangerous, to say the least. On the other hand, I think that we can kill both of uh, the servants. So this is a move which might look dangerous on paper, but I would argue it is not. We're hitting the eyeball again, which is exactly what we want to do. Hitting her. Hitting the servant. Very solid damage. As one dies, another is already born to take his place. Move all the way up to here, but wouldn't be able to flank her. Okay, what else can we do? No valid sniper target. That is unfortunate. Assassin still has too many hit points. Boy oh boy, she grew strong over time. Continuing to stay in cover. 19%, that's not good. I am with you. Could have done that even without going forward, so moving forward was a bit of an issue. Let's try to take away the cover successfully so now we could always use banish but i don't want to do that like i said i want to save the cooldowns for later banish is a perfect cooldown for the final room bad. All right, let's well, she, wait, 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 she has the ability to shoot back, so we don't want to take 
low percent hits. We want to make sure that we can actually hit her and hit her really well. There we go, maximum focus. This time I prefer to move back instead of standing there. Still not a kill. We'll get there eventually. That here would be a really solid hit and we would end in cover. Would be great if we could kill her though. <coughs> because then we would have untouchable. But I don't see how we would be able to do that, so let's go in. Give it a gift. Only a true craftsman could create such a weapon. This is now plan B, because we were unlucky and just didn't hit. Just the risk of basically pulling those guys. Nope, it's not gonna work out. Which will position our avatar in a really tight spot. I don't want to 50 50 gamble and pull another pack. We missed two 90% shots and normally I'm good with um, getting a plan B. The problem if, is if your margins of success are so slim, there's only so much plan B that I can actually plan in. So what are we going to do? She's not going to summon, she is going to slash. This is 100% going to reveal the Reaper. Can't do that. Could have done that by moving here and then just unloading on her. Only remote starts that we have left over are over here. Doesn't look super pretty, guys. Gonna be honest here. We must hope that she's going to focus on the eyeball. There's a bit acid burn, there's a bit poison. And there's the hope that she's just going to focus on the eyeball. We're out of range from, uh, from this guy. He's probably not going to run into the opening, he's more likely to go over here. Um, yeah. So that was working as expected. The vanishing wind, on the other hand, there is nowhere to run. might have saved us. Okay. Well, it's not as bad as I 
thought it would be. Now the one million dollar question is, where has she positioned herself? <laughs> Look at you! Caught you with your hand in the cookie jar. Big fat hand in the cookie jar. Okay, I like it. So here's the deal that will trigger Overwatch. We need to get rid of him soon. Oh, well. want to trigger them but I'm going to be honest and say it is not the worst outcome go everyone got heavily injured So, how are we going to do that? Let's start with the ones that have the least agency at the moment. Zirkim just needs to get a bit closer. Not even close to the actual battle. Boy oh boy, we're stumbling from one bad situation to another. She has a lot of hit points. It feels like she upgraded a few times. She's kind of final upgraded, like um, absolute maximum upgraded, which stings because from a timing perspective, she shouldn't be fully upgraded. All right, moving up. I'd like to use the lightning hands to hopefully kill this guy. Hit, but not a kill. Ten to twelve, is that going to be a kill? Almost. We're in cover and we can go for a parry. So, whom are we going to kill? Let me think that through real quick. You know what? This here is a pretty solid chance to simply kill the assassin. No questions asked. Highest priority target. Done. Not revealed. Good. Cool. Now. Let's deal with the remaining folks here. Moving into half cover. I 
I like the idea of just eradicating that gatekeeper as well. Could sprint over here, that would be far enough away from everything here. There is, by the way, an extra zombie on our side, thanks to the gateway. Haven't even calculated with that, but it's on our side now. I'm for you. Will do. I want to make sure that they have little to no targets that they can actually work with. 50-50. It was a miss, unfortunately. My plans would work if we wouldn't uh, continue to miss somewhat reasonable shots. Not going to go for the parry here. Going to go back. To make ourselves less of an attractive target. And as a commander, instead of hitting the eyeball... Okay, 85% also misses. Well. I can only do so much. That's a lot of uh, misses just in a row so far. Not going to be salty about it. It just happens. Cannot really do mu uh, much about it. Missing on the zombie, that is hilarious. And there's an overwatch. Okay, cool. Well, could have been much worse than that. Our mind control certainly helps us to prevail here. Another overwatch. Okay, cool. First things first, I think I speak for all of us uh, in saying that this year is just an awesome target. It is. Like, look at that, seriously. The Avatar is doing work. Such fine work. Now, we're not getting any proximity bonus. Might as well shoot from here. 70% could have been a bit better, but... Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. I go where I am needed. Moving here. And that could be a kill, but it also could not be a kill. We don't want those. 50-50 chances. Missing the eyeball yet again. Great deal. Oh, we can't really vault, I remember. Those guys are immune to vault. Let's try to go for the mech. Another 90% shot. Are you guys counting? We're not doing very well on the... on the um, stochastical side. Alright, we're overwatching here. 
I would like to give an A protocol with threat assessment to the only person who is really in range, which is the commander. charge in but that that would be wasteful with hogbite might as well take a position here i'm only playing that defensive because i know that i don't want to be hurt with anyone Crystal and poison starting to tick up. Mind control is still going strong. Still up. Well, we're shooting like XCOM. Continues to shred us. That's fine. Finally, Renman. The salvation. After so many misses, finally someone who hits the squad. Great. Okay, cool. Gatekeeper was killed. Everyone's happy. And we are finishing strong with getting that mech. Further and further shredded. Closing on target position now. Yeah. Hmm. All right. I don't. I really don't like it, but I be it as it may. I'm standing in the open. I'm pretty sure we're going to kill the mech. Deflection. Running dry. Come on. <laughs> the defense of the mech alone uh, poses to be a real challenge for us. Commander Savatar. Finally ends that clown fiesta. I will okay, and I think this is a pretty decent cliffhanger for the second um, third of uh, this mission. Am I happy with how we played so far? I would say overall it was uh, good X coming. We had some we uh, weaker. Uh, sports by just pulling everyone but we haven't used any major cooldowns other than maybe one um, shift of um, of time uh, one of our teamwork abilities is down that's okay we have used one grenade if i'm not mistaken yep one grenade is uh, down and that's pretty much it um, it seems that that we have been doing incredibly well otherwise the first chosen is down uh, one thing that i learned is if you're going in uh, preemptively the chosens will have uh, the maximum uh, level so no uh, pulling um, uh, punches on anyone she was absolutely ready she had 50 hit points and three or four armor which is nasty absolutely nasty but i think uh, the combination of uh, just using our C abilities uh, wisely, as well as shredding her early, uh, let us uh, kill her. If I could have a wish for the second half, it would probably be meeting the Warlock instead of the Hunter. 
in the second half just so that we can get rid of his absolutely um, horrible zombies that he's always uh, trying to summon so that would be that would be much appreciated uh, the hunter is bad as well but definitely not as bad compared to the warlock yeah well and then we got the big fat final room um, ahead of us i think i can make it to the final room no promises um, about anything that happens in the final room i uh, i'm yet not seeing how we have enough firepower to get it done we got a few aces up our sleeves such as banish with the reaper that could uh, give us um, a bit of an advantage the commander certainly has a few aces up his sleeve with all of the psionic abilities but they have cooldowns and other than that we don't really have someone who's incredibly strong i mean hogbite uh, doesn't have his clone ability there is no uh, no further um, second uh, Templar on the field we would need to shred all of the um, all of uh, the avatars we only have so many mimic beacons to begin with and there are flat out characters that although they are really good the class yet isn't developed far enough uh, looking at you here Zirkim a great damage output in general with the face off and the lightning up uh, hands but we're talking about 30 to 40 um, hit points um, on the um, on the avatars alone so i didn't I, one thing that i thought was maybe upgrading everything with uh, superior repeaters but then none were available so not even that was really an option we do have one normal repeater and that's all i could get my hands on uh, that's it like there's um, there's not more so the corridor for our win condition is pretty slim i would say having uh, the mind control here as an option just to get one more um, archon or something on our side in the final room and let him tank great we do not even um, with Hayward have the ability to control mechanical units because she's healing skilled. I wouldn't think that without a mech upgrade, uh, with a gremlin upgrade, that she would even have the ability. So the last room, as it stands, is just a big fat enigma for me. Not sure how I'm going to pull this off. We will need to be a bit lucky uh, when it comes to the teleportation um, of the avatars. We're certainly going to just simply kill the avatars and that's about it. But I haven't uh, made any more plans um, uh, yeah, above that prior priority. I'll think a little bit more and we see each other in the next mission, guys. Slam that uh, thumbs up button. I think even if I'm not making it, it's still a great run. Uh, so uh, mm, please give it a, a tiny bit of uh, likes and see you in the next um, mission. Bye bye.